Welcome everybody to Falcon Place Don't Starve, the new expansion, Shipwreck. Uh, Don't Starve is a game that I've gotten a lot of requests over the channel's lifespan to actually check out just because of my whole focus on survival games. And Don't Starve is a game I actually played a lot when it was still a browser game and really early access on Steam. The problem is I kind of fell off on it and then the game got really in-depth, which is not a bad thing whatsoever, but you kind of needed to start learning like, you know, strategies to kind of survive in the very late game. So I always felt kind of overwhelmed to come back and revisit it because of that. I don't have any other characters to choose from, so we're going to be going with our... Uh, regular dude here. What's his name? Wilson? Is it Wilson? If it's Wilson, you know what? This works out quite well because I could kind of like think I'm like, you know, Tom Hanks and, and um, what is it? Castaway? And then I'll be, yeah, it's Wilson's beard. So I'll be the volleyball this time and I'll be trying to survive while Tom Hanks is apparently the volleyball this time around. I'm kind of getting myself confused here, so never mind. Alrighty, and here we go. Let's see here. Nice sailing. Oh, cool. Hey, thanks a lot for the sarcastic comment there, jerk. Uh, Wilson, let's get up here. Alrighty. So... Off to the basics here. First episode, more than likely, is going to be a lot of um, resource gathering, but that's okay. As I mentioned, guys, if you are familiar with the... A lot of the core mechanics in the, um, you know, the vanilla game, and maybe even Reign of Giants and all the other expansions so far, pretty much apply. But just remember that I have not played this game since, you know, early browser days, so I don't really know the late-game MOG tactics. So this is where you come in. I need you guys to let me know in the comments things that you kind of be working towards to. And I will do so, and then uh, you can help me out. So I know a lot of like a lot, I know a lot of people like to uh, leave comments behind and dictate every single thing that you want me to do. And this is your chance to finally do it. I definitely need you to be like Falcon, do this, and I will try to read and try to apply the things that you're talking about here. So what we're gonna start off with is actually picking up some flint. Now I think we need two flints to get the the pickaxe, right? Yes. Now, luckily, uh, I think the first thing you should always make... Mind you, I'm not completely inept at this game. I have been playing a lot of it off-camera, at least to kind of get a little bit of a crash course. So, I do know how to survive early on. That's not a big problem. It's just a late game that I'm a little bit worried about. But, I do know for a fact that the first thing you want to get up and running is the pickaxe. Because that'll give you more access to uh, boulders and more flint. And then you can use the more flint that you get from the boulders to obviously make your other tools. So, more importantly, always pick up the, the pickaxe first. And then you can make, like, the... The axe itself, and what else do we make over here? The shovel. Actually, we have to research the shovel first if I'm right. The machete. The machete is going to be really important as well. There's another piece of flint over here, which I guess I'll probably pick up. I should be picking up more on the fly over here, too. So, you know, uh, forgive me, but this is a very resource-heavy game. So, we're going to be doing a lot of farming. And more importantly, let's pick up these seashells over here. These are going to be really, really important down the line because they're a bit, you know... You can only usually find them in the shores, I've noticed, but after a while, it takes you a while to find them a bit more, so... Let's see, I'm gonna move my tools over here, and let's go ahead and equip that. Pickaxe, you come over here. Okay. Other thing that's really important, too, cut down trees not only for the logs, but also for the coconuts here. So, that's gonna be another main focus of our little resource gathering over here. Let's go ahead and get the old axe equipped here, or the pickaxe, and get this up and running here. Alrighty, so... After we have the basic setup over here, which we kind of already do, especially with the uh, the axe and the pickaxe as well, is maybe looking for the boulder. Actually, not even maybe. For a fact, look for a boulder that has gold. And that's going to be a bit different looking than the other ones. Oh, no, no, no. Snake man. Hold up. Uh, machete. Now, the machete is actually used for cutting down bamboo, but it's also probably one of the stronger tools you can make early on to fight down some critters. Now, these guys aren't really too tough. If you attack and bait them into attack and then attack them twice more, you're basically golden. Uh, monster meat isn't really too important early on because I do believe to get the 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 most positive effect out of it, you do need the crock pot or something, so um, we don't have that. We're not going to get that anytime soon, so at least for now we don't really need it. But we do need to cut down bamboo because we need to make a raft. Uh, you can make two rafts early on in the game. You can make a log one and the bamboo one. I feel that the bamboo one goes a bit faster, so you might as well just kind of um, commit to that one early on, unless you really can't find any bamboo in your starting biome over here. What is this? Oh, the jungle tree pickup. Alrighty, that's not bad. Pick that up here. Oh, we can't pick it up anymore. Ah, sure, whatever. You're not really too important anyway. Um, oh, no, no, no. I, what's that over here? There we go. I know there was another log in there. So, so far, so good right now. Pick up some more of these vines. Uh, one of the things we want to build on the fly as well is probably the hatchback, which I do requ think requires survival. And this will let us carry a bit more. 
the backpack requires a science machine. But for now, if we could find three more leaves over here, we could definitely make this happen. And we should be able to make this happen right now. So let's commit right now to making ourselves a little bit of an extra carrying capacity here because it'll help us loot a bit more and get some more resources early on. Uh, now, in terms of the survival, can we make the... We need two more bamboo. That should be... I think we should be able to make that happen. Was there more bamboo around there? There should be more bamboo, right? All right. We'll go back over here and find out. Yeah, there's one right... Yeah, yeah, we should definitely be able to make that wrap. But I also want to make sure that we have um, this little small backpack here. Uh, one more. Okay. And let's go ahead and swap over to old Machete. Machete! Pick this up over here, and... I think that's going to be enough for the raft. No, one more still, huh? Okay. My, my sense of uh, direction in terms of how many items I need for something is just really, really terrible. Which is unfortunately a big um, problem with my memory. I forget stuff so easily, as most of you are aware. And if you're new to the channel, then um, you will soon find out that I forget stuff quite easily. So, all we need now is just one more palm leaf, if I'm correct, right? So... You're a small little dude, so I'm going to leave you there. I normally don't like cutting down the small guys just because they haven't fully grown. And if you let them grow over time, obviously they'll, you know, bear some coconuts for you. And then you could be in love with the cocoa all the time that way. So, might as well just have them hang around. But now we can make our little attach bag. Yeah! Alright, so we can carry up four more items now, which is quite great. Let's go ahead and pick up some more grass, because this will be really important on the fly if we need to craft stuff. And our twig situation is actually quite bad. You know what? It's almost nighttime. We have not really seen too many twigs in this island, have we? No, we have not. So, obviously, we're going to stay on this island for tonight because I am not going to go ahead and uh, risk going into the ocean at nighttime on a raft because there's no way to set up a fire that way. I'm pretty sure there is down the line you can make a boat and then you could actually add a little bit of a lamp to your boat. But until that actually happens, um, it's going to be a while until we can make that boat, obviously. We're going to have to roll with rafts here for a while. So, at nighttime, apparently, all the snakies come out. So, if I ever am looking to harvest a lot of... Um, Snake skin, and maybe even monster meat. Basically, hit up one of these little tree areas at night, and we should probably be able to take down a bunch of these. Uh, so they call them spiders, but the snakes. There's spiders in the game, mind you, but um, these are snake falcon. They have no legs, right? I mean, snakes don't have legs. I mean, I know like somebody, like some sort of like anthropological genius, will probably come in and be like, "Well, falcon, they don't have legs, but they have these little so and so I like thing that I can't even pronounce that work as legs for the spiders." Or not spiders, but the snakes. Snakes, spiders, whatever. All these S animals and enemies in this game. Oh, that broke. That's unfortunate. Uh, we need to set up... Ooh, you know what? This is not a bad place to set up a little campfire because there's a lot to do around here. I'm going to go ahead and do... Mm, let's do regular campfire for now. Now, one thing I will note that I do I have learned on my own is that you don't necessarily want to make these campfires or any like base near the shore of anything because at nighttime, or at least over time... The shores will come into the actual island itself, and they'll start flooding down areas of the game itself. So I'm not sure if that happens everywhere, or maybe just um, places that you haven't necessarily um, been to, or maybe it's something that happens over time. But I have noticed that, after a while, the tide does start coming into the shore islands, so that's something you definitely have to keep your eyes on. So I'll pick this up here, this up here, and this up here. You could probably start cooking some of the cocos as well. We have eight of them, so that's a pretty significant amount early on. But let me just add more fuel over here. There's some more grass here anyway. There's some seeds over that I should be picking up. Twigs is what I was looking for, though. With twigs, I'll be able to, like, you know, craft tools on the fly whenever I need them. So we definitely want to pick all those up here. Um, well, right now in day two, we obviously hit the road. Or not the road, but the ocean anyway. And we have to find the boulder that is going to have gold for us so we can make our first science machine. Maybe even our only science machine. We'll see how it goes. But we need that science machine to basically open up the rest of the game for us right now. Because right now we're very, very limited to what we can do. So, until that actually happens, we'll be playing a bit safe here. So, I think we're done here for now. We have, you know, acquired most of the stuff we need to over here. Mm, there's another boulder here. I don't think that's the gold variety because we already went through there. Yeah. So, for now, let's find out. We're kind of, let's, let's imagine we're in the center of the map here. Doing a little bit of saving here. Let's go ahead and get the nautical on the road here. So, Raffman. Put you down right there. Alrighty! And I, Pactin, where are we going to, matey? Um, I'm really terrible with pirate talk, so you'll, you'll forgive me for that. But, um, <laughs> that was me trying to be a pirate, obviously. It's really hard to tell. I wouldn't really hold it against you if you had no idea what I was talking about there. Alrighty. So, let's talk a little bit about these waves here. Waves are, you know, they look scary. 
um, they don't really do much to you unless you run into them. If you run into them, they will harm the life of your raft here. I think your raft actually does degrade over time on its own, though, right? Maybe it does. Yeah, it did. Well, from 146 went to 145. So over time, your raft will obviously degrade. If you smack into waves, it will degrade faster. And if you smack into waves, you'll get wet. If you get wet, you eventually die. Well, I mean, if you get really, really wet, obviously hypothermia starts kicking in. There's definitely temperatures in this game, too. Now, I'm not sure if there's going to be like a winter portion of this game. That's the other thing that kind of uh, I'm curious about because, you know, you're in an island. So would that work out? I mean, do islands get a, you know, wintry, wintry snow? I mean, I live in SoCal and I have never seen snow here. I've, I've seen snow in other places that I visit, but SoCal is kind of, I guess you could not even a uh, Caribbean, which is what this game's all about. But it's, you know, like kind of uh, near the beach anyway, um, at least near the ocean. And I've never seen uh, snow here whatsoever in the, you know, heart of SoCal anyway. So, does that apply to the Caribbean Islands? I'd imagine they probably don't get snow as well, right? I mean, if we don't get it down here, why would they get some? And I'm sounding a bit salty about it because, let me tell you, I would love snow here. It gets cold, obviously not really too cold. It's not going to be like, you know, east coast of the U.S. cold or like, you know, Russia or, you know, European countries get really, really cold. But, um... It gets cold here for a dude like me living in SoCal. And I like how cold it is, but it's never snow, and I'm always like, man, it'd be nice to be in snow, because I've been in snow, I've actually experienced snow before. And it's, it was a blast, you know, I just get snow and uh, toss it at people when they're not paying attention. <laughs> That's basically my favorite thing. I want to go to a snow area just so I could, you know, chuck snowballs at people like a jerk. When they're not even expecting it to, that's the worst thing about it, too. It's like, what the hell are you doing? It's like, I tossed you a snowball. Jerk, I wasn't even expecting it. It's like, yeah, I know. That's the reason why I did it. You gotta always expect the unexpected around Falcon. Like, what if I decided to jump on this table and just start screaming wildly? What would you do then? I, I swear I'm not insane. I just like to ruffle feathers, you know? Because <laughs> I'm a Falcon, yeah. That was really unintended, but it kind of worked out quite well. Anyway, let's uh, get back into the heart of what we're doing here, and that is surviving and acquiring more of these things. I'm um, just collecting more resources. That's the reason I'm kind of like chatting about over here. So don't mind me as I just kind of chit chat about. We are, however, keeping our eyes open for that boulder with the possibility of gold. Now, let me tell you right now, these um, honey beehives, whatever, they're not too dangerous. I've uh, I fought a few of these without like you know any sort of like proper protection, like lock suit protection. I'm not talking about like, you know condoms or anything like that. That would be kind of really eerie if I would set up a fight a beehive with a condom. It's be like you know what are you planning to do with that beehive hole, Falcon? And then you can kind of, you know, put two and two together afterwards. But that's that's perverse and honestly very disturbing. So let's go ahead and forget I mentioned protection. The protection I was talking about was the log suit and, you know, a better weapon. I've actually brought down bees with, like, the machete alone. So it's definitely a possibility. And you get honey, which is, um, you know, a pretty good thing to suit your hunger with. Speaking of suiting my hunger with, I'm actually getting quite hungry in game over here. But let me just run around through here. I want to see if we can find... Oh! Oh! Those are spiders! Oh, and there's a, a giant snake in front of me, too. <laughs> I'm so intent on the spiders that I forget about the actual threat in front of me right here. Oh, berry bush. Yeah. If I had a shovel, I would like to pick you. So I'm going to pick up the berries here for now, but I'm going to leave you alone because I'm going to come back with a shovel and pick you up. And then we'll kind of plant you around. Oh, <gasps> gold. Yes, baby. Okay, hold up. Uh, pickaxe. So this is what we're looking for. Now we got it. Got one gold. Who said nice one? Oh, this is the parrot again. He's being a jerk. He's always wandering around, flying around, condescending me the entire time. Alright, so we now have our goal to make our science machine. Is this a place that I would like to call home? Or at least kind of near it? You know what? This is actually not too bad. Not too bad to call a temporary early base, honestly. It's a really big island. We have some beehives here. You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to come down over here. We're about to hit nighttime number two anyway. So I think that for now, we basically kick our feet up and we'll call this momentary... Uh, Casa, Casa de Falcon. I like that. Sounds pretty good. The Casa de Falcon will be right here. And Casa de Falcon needs some food, mind you. And again, bees, they're not actually aggro, so they can hang out there. They won't actually attack you, which is pretty good to have the beehive around for. So is this good? Uh, we're kind of near the shore, so let's get closer to our bee friends over here. How you doing, buddy? Oh, don't mind me. I'll kill you at some point for your delicious honey. Uh, let's make the old fire pit here. Seems like a pretty good spot. And let's go ahead and make the old... She blinded me with science! Oh, we need a few rocks. Is that tried? Is that right? Okay, hold up. 
Uh, I should be able to make that really easily. Not a problem. Let me just cook something here for our momentary hunger issues. Uh, we'll place this over here. We'll, we'll eat some more once we get back. But for now, I just want to pick up one more rock to make our science machine over here. Get on out of here, Dwayne and Rock Johnson. I know you're in here. Alrighty. And we could probably even do a bit more collecting. Do we have any limpets? Yeah, we do. Limpets, actually, you could cook them. I want to say they heal your health as well if you take any damage with that. So... Uh, I'll, I'll verify it right now once we get back. Might as well pick up this flint, and... We might have enough time for this other boulder here. I like to push it sometimes, you know? Push it to the limit. Limit! Oh, come on. <laughs> right in the middle of my song, too. Walk all on the pickaxe edge. And it's almost night time, you gonna go insane. Insane! Alright, here we go. So now we're back here, let's go ahead and... I guess we could cook the seaweed. Let's go ahead and cook the old seaweed as well. We're rather hungry after all. We'll use some grass over here to light this fire. And let's go ahead and set up this uh, science machine. Uh, that's not the right category at all. Here we go. Uh, we'll place you up here just so that I could see you at nighttime and make stuff at nighttime if I have to. There we go. Alrighty. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and worry about our hunger now. I think we could finally just hang out for a bit. Worry about our hunger and um, hang out here. So far, so good. Uh, for the, you normally want to get the science machine up as soon as possible, as I mentioned. And now that we have it, I feel relatively content about it. Now, if we're gonna be hanging out here for the time being, we just might want to plant a few of these bad boys around here. And this will be just so that if we hang out here long enough, they will, you know, bear more coconuts for us. And you know, I'm in love with the cocoa after all, so. We might as well all be in love with the coco, coco. All right, that's good. Um, let's go ahead and chow down. This will probably more than likely restore us quite well. Oh yeah, that's perfect. We have the science machine. We have a relatively nice little area to check out here for tomorrow. We have food. We have a backpack. Let's find out what else we can make here on the fly though. Uh, we need shovels. Shovels is something that's needed. Here we go. We can definitely make it now. Do it. All righty. Let's move you over here to the tool area as well. And it is daytime already for day three. Perfect. All right, guys, how about we call an episode here for today? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us a lot, especially for a new series. Um, I plan to go forward with this for quite a while, too. So, I mean, kick your feet up, get comfortable. We'll be surviving here a bit longer. And as I mentioned early on, if you are a, uh, you know, don't starve pro MLG dude or just even familiar with the game, leave me some tips in the comments. Perfectly well for you to do so because I'm trying to learn how to survive late game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.